efficient market hypothesis. We all know that an efficient capital market is one in which security prices adjust rapidly to the arrival of new information and therefore the current prices of securities reflect all information about the security. In this lesson, we will discuss the efficient market hypothesis, describe the different forms of efficient market, explain the empirical evidence of EMH and describe the anomalies in the market. After going through this presentation, you should be able to define efficient market, describe the different forms of efficient market, explain the benefits of efficient market, analyze the evidence for market efficiency, understanding the testing market efficiency, describe the anomalies in the market. An efficient capital market is a market that is efficient in processing information. We are talking about an informationally efficient market as opposed to a transactionally efficient market. In other words, we mean that the market quickly and correctly adjusts to new information. In an informationally efficient market, the prices of securities observed at any time are based on correct evaluation of all information available at that time. Therefore, in an efficient market, prices immediately and fully reflect available information. Prior to the 1950s, it was generally believed that the use of fundamental or technical approaches could beat the market. In the 1950s and 1960s, studies began to provide evidence against this view. In particular, researchers found that stock price changes followed a random walk. They also found that stock prices reacted to new information almost instantly, not gradually as had been believed. The efficient markets hypothesis EMH is made up of three progressively forms. First is the weak form efficiency, which implies that technical analysis techniques will not be able to consistently produce excess returns, though some forms of fundamental analysis may still provide excess returns. Second is semi-strong form efficiency, in which share prices adjust within an arbitrarily small but finite amount of time and in an unbiased fashion to publicly available new information so that no excess returns can be earned by trading on that information. Third is strong form efficiency in which share prices reflect all information and no one can earn excess returns. One of the advantages of an efficient market is that there is no real incentive to initiate arbitrage transactions in order to build a strategy to make a decent return. The market price will not stray too far from the true economic price if you allow arbitragers to exploit deviations. This will avoid sudden nasty crashes in the future. An efficient market increases liquidity because people believe the price incorporates all public information and thus they are less concerned about paying too much. If only the market for television sets were as efficient as the market for stocks, a lot less comparison shopping would be needed. Arbitragers provide liquidity to investors who need to sell or buy securities for purposes other than betting on changes in expected returns. A simple test for strong form efficiency is based upon price changes close to an event. Is the first evidence is that is stock market semi strong form efficient? The most obvious indication that the market is not always and everywhere semi strong form efficient is that money managers frequently use public information to take position in stock. The assumption of semi strong form efficiency is a good first approximation for a market with as many sharp traders and with as much publicly available information as the US equity market. And the second is that is the stock market weak form efficient? Weak form efficiency should be the simplest type of efficiency to prove. 
and for a time it was widely accepted that the US stock market was at least weak form efficient. The efficient market theory is a good first approximation for characterizing how prices in a liquid and free market react to the disclosure of information. The fact that information is impounded quickly in stock prices and that windows of investment opportunity are fleeting is one of the best arguments for keeping the markets free of excessive trading costs and for removing the penalties for honest speculation. Speculators keep market prices close to economic values. There are several ways to test the EMH. Analysts have devised direct and indirect tests of market efficiency. Direct tests assess the success of specific investment strategies or trading rules. Indirect tests are statistical tests of prices or returns. Tests of the EMH must usually establish some sort of benchmark. The most common benchmark is the so-called buy and hold portfolio. The time period selected can, of course, always be criticized. A trading rule partisan may respond to a conclusion that the rule did not work by saying, of course my trading rule didn't work over that period. Suppose that someone discovered an investment strategy that really worked and made a lot of money. Empirical tests complement the theoretical methods. They can be adapted to a broader class of simulation problems. One aim of this thesis is to encourage users of PRNs to build their own tests. The anomalies in market are, first is firm size effect. Beginning in the early 1980s, a number of studies found that the stocks of small firms typically outperforming on a risk-adjusted basis the stocks of large firms. This is even true among the large capitalization stocks within the S&P 500. The smaller but still large stocks tend to outperform the really large ones. Next is January effect. Stock returns appear to be higher in January than in other months of the year. This may be related to the size effect since it is mostly small firms that outperform in January. It may also be related to end of year tax selling. It has been found that portfolios of low P by E stocks generally outperform portfolios of high P by E stocks. This may be related to the size effect since there is a high correlation between the stock price and the P by E. It may be that buying low P by E stocks is essentially the same as buying small company stocks. Based on daily stock prices from 1963 to 1985, Kaim found that returns on higher on Fridays and lower on Mondays than should be expected. This is partly due to the fact that Monday returns actually reflect the entire Friday close to Monday close time period, weekend plus Monday, rather than just one day. Now let us check if we have understood the various concepts discussed in this lesson clearly. The weak form EMH asserts that security prices adjust rapidly to the release of all public information. That is, current security prices fully reflect all public information. Right or wrong? Wrong. The semi-strong EMH contends that stock prices fully reflect all information from public and private sources. Right or wrong? Wrong. An efficient capital market is one in which security prices adjust rapidly to the arrival of new information and therefore the current prices of securities reflect all information about the security. Right or wrong? Right. Before we end, let us briefly revise what we have studied so far. In an active market, that includes many well-informed and intelligent investors. Securities will be appropriately priced and reflect all available information. If a market is efficient, no information or analysis can be expected to result in outperformance of an appropriate benchmark. Pharma divided the overall efficient market hypothesis EMH and the empirical tests of the hypothesis into three sub hypothesis depending on the information set.
an investor can add leverage to the portfolio by borrowing the risk-free asset. The addition of the risk-free asset allows for a position in the region above the efficient frontier. A market portfolio is a portfolio consisting of a weighted sum of every asset in the market, with weights in the proportions that they exist in the market. Efficient capital market is a capital market in which security prices adjust rapidly to the arrival of new information and therefore the current prices of securities reflect all information about the security. Efficient market hypothesis asserts that financial markets are informationally efficient. Strong form efficiency states that everything you need to know about the company is reflected in its current price because it's what the market has dictated. Semi-strong form efficiency asserts that security prices adjust rapidly to the release of all public information. Weak form and random walk holds that present stock market prices reflect all known information with respect to past stock prices, trends and volume.